Hey guys, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Audio Engine D1 Premium 24 bit USB DAC now. So, a DAC is a digital to analog, nope, digital to audio converter. So, this can work as like a sound card for your computer or something, as your computer doesn't normally have too good a sound card the audio out it won't be ideal as I am finding with my iMac at the moment it doesn't give me the best quality music when I'm listening to my Sennheiser HD 580s out of it and stuff so this is where something like a DAC will come in handy um, the box gives you all the information on it all the specs well, looks things tells you a bit about it but more importantly, let's just get down to getting this open. So I'm going to show you what you get inside, and I'm going to show you how we're going to use this. Okay. So we now have a layer of protective foam over the top, and then we then get a setup guide. So this. Hopefully it'll just take us how we're going to get this set up to our computers. Um, it looks like it does just that. We also get a audio engine product guide or just so it tells you what we've got, what we can get from audio engine. There's a D2 look. Um, some of the speakers which they do. Right, let's get, actually get down to what you get with the kit. You get a USB cable which will go from the DAC straight to your computer. Some silica gel to keep everything fresh. A nice little pouch there for the DAC um, with a drawstring to keep it safe if you're going to use it, be using this portable. And then finally, we get the DAC, um, which is of course very nice. So now I'm going to take you to the computer, show you how we're going to use this, and um, tell you what everything on this is. Hey guys, I'm now going to show you how to um, set the uh, Audio Engine D1 up with your computer so that you can uh, use it as its purpose of a USB DAC. So um, first of all, we'll get the USB cable that comes with it, real nice, um, gold plated as you can see. So real good quality. Uh, Cable, so we'll just put that into our USB output in the back of our computers. In my case, the iMac. So that's now unconnected. And then in the back of our audio engine D1, we have a few different types of out and inputs. Um, and in this case, we're going to use the USB input. You could choose to use an optical input from your computer as well, but I'm going to choose to use the USB input. So I'll connect that in there. And then once that's in, we'll get the uh, white power light. So we now know that we're connected with the computer. We'll now go to, um, we'll now go to system preferences on my, if you're using a Mac. So I'll come up there, then we'll go into the sound option, and then you can go on, so you, you'll probably start on sound effects, and if you go on to output, you'll get to select which output you want, so you can use the internal speakers, or which, is the, or you, which turns into the headphone jack, or you can choose to use the USB audio engine D1, and that's what we want to use here. So if we um, select that, we can then connect, I don't know, a pair of headphones here, I've got the FA Fish Audio FA004s on hand here um, connect that go on to VLC play a song and obviously we now have music playing 
So that's on how simple it is just to connect it up. So a real straightforward and easy process. So um, that's the audio engine D1 and how to set it up.